Uh, is this thing working? Uh, hi. Hello. Why am I doing this? Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Chris Mon, and welcome back to another video. So, yeah, I'm doing a vlog. I don't know what I'm doing. I know I usually don't record vlogs, let alone IRL stuff, but I'm currently in college, and with this whole coronavirus pandemic going on, I thought it'd be a good idea to vlog my experience at Temple University, because why not? So, I'm currently a film and media arts major. Go figure. I mainly chose this major because I like making videos, and also I wasn't smart enough to do engineering, but that's beside the point. But, yeah, I thought I'd make this vlog to showcase what it's like to be a college freshman during this whole coronavirus thing. I don't know. Now, fair warning, this isn't going to be your typical standard vlog. I'm not going to be one of those stereotypical vloggers who try to copy Casey Neistat or David Dobrik because that's just not me. I make stupid gaming videos on YouTube. That's what I do. But yeah, a few things you should know before the vlog starts. I'm currently recording this on my iPhone SE because I'm too broke to buy an actual camera. Also, I'm a dipshit and accidentally put my finger over the mic while recording most of the footage at Temple University, so I'm mostly going to be doing voiceovers. Sorry. Some uninteresting facts about me. Uh, I'm from Pittsburgh, which is like a five-hour drive, so so moving to Philadelphia is going to be an experience. Uh, I'm Korean. I don't think that's going to be important because I'm probably not going to be showing my face in this vlog, but I thought I'd mention it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not really an interesting person, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy the vlog. This vlog is going to be so scuffed and I'm probably going to get canceled. What can possibly go wrong? Alright, so here's my dorm room. I'm the first one here for some reason, but I'm currently unpacking. Actually, let me show you guys around. So I have a total of two brain cells and didn't realize I was covering the mic while recording this entire tour, so I'm just gonna be doing a voiceover. I hate my life sometimes. So I'm currently living in the 1300 residence hall. I'm in a dorm suite with three other people, so four people in total. There's four rooms, two bedrooms, and two half bathrooms, and it's pretty nice. Before moving in, I actually had to get tested for COVID, and it was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever experienced. They literally stick a Q-tip up your nose and make you count to 10, and uh, uh, it's just awful but yeah after i moved everything into my room i said goodbye to my family and finally started my life as a college freshman a few hours later i finally met my other roommates they're pretty chill but yeah i unpacked most of my things and later me and my two other roommates rob and shane decided to wander the streets of philadelphia at night because that's a smart thing to do we got yelled at by a homeless dude got to see a bunch of atvs go down broad street and we soon realized it was a bad idea and we went back to the dorms overall it was a pretty productive experience but yeah that was my first day in philadelphia so day two started out as any other day. I woke up, cried in the shower, contemplated life. You know the usual. Me and my roommates actually arrived a week before classes started, so we had a lot of time to kill. We realized that we had to eat, so we headed over to the Morgan Dining Hall, and honestly, it's alright. It's just your typical school lunch, nothing too fancy. It's good enough to eat, that's all you can really ask for. The next day, me and my roommates realized that we can buy stuff on our own, so we went to the nearest supermarket and bought a bunch of useless stuff, because that's what college students do. Near the end of the week, I finally met people other than my roommates. To be honest, I really thought I wasn't going to meet anyone else at college, but it turns out you do actually meet people in college. Now, I'm a socially awkward loser, so meeting new people is a challenge for me, but it was surprisingly nice. Me and my roommates went to the common area on our floor and met a bunch of people living in 1300. Not gonna lie, I kind of felt dumb compared to the other people there. I mean, that's nothing new, but people were going around introducing themselves as engineering majors or business majors, and then there's just me over here with a freaking film major. I don't know, I just felt like the odd one out, that's all. Later, a group of us went over to J&H, and this was the start of my friend group at college. It was nice to finally talk to people who don't make fun of you every five minutes. You know who you are. Not gonna lie, I never realized how much of a Pittsburgh accent I had until coming to Philadelphia. I don't speak Pittsburghese or say yins a lot, but I do say some words differently, like crick and of creek and slippy instead of slippery. It was just a little bit weird, that's all. But yeah, that was the first week of me living in Philadelphia. Overall, it was a pretty fun experience. Later, I finally finished my setup. All right, this is my official college dorm tour slash room tour or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But yeah, I finished unpacking and I thought I'd give you guys a tour around my room. So let's start over here. This is the door. It's pretty self-explanatory what it does. It opens and closes, as you can see. Yeah, over here is my closet. I have towels jackets, hangers, shoes, a bunch of miscellaneous things. Over here's my drawer, I have clothes in them. Like, I have a temple hat, 
which is awesome. All right, and over here is my setup. So I had to change this a few times because I wasn't exactly quite sure how I wanted to set it up, but I feel like this right now is the best it's gonna get. So I have an Acer Nitro 5 laptop. It has a Ryzen 5 processor and a GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card. It's pretty good. I paid like $700 for it. Then I have my peripherals. Of course, I brought the Alienware mechanical keyboard and the Razer Diff Adder Elite and the mouse pad i guess i brought my nintendo switch because i do plan on playing pokemon sword and shield i also have this juice biz hub adapter which is really nice because not only does it have three usb ports it also has hold on it also has an hdmi and ethernet and then over here i have my xbox with my second monitor on top of it it's probably not the safest thing to do but you know what it works over here i have my power bricks and hard drives i have two hard drives one for my laptop and one for my xbox and i also have my elgato so i can record i have my controller and i have my ds so i can also play other pokemon games like platinum and i do have soul silver which I do want to play soon. And then in this drawer, I have my accessories like my Astro gaming headset and another controller and some Joy-Cons. Here I have stuff for the coronavirus. And then down here, I have my school supplies. I do need to get textbooks. That is the thing I need to do. And for cable management, I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, you can barely see the cables here and what you can see, they're all like tied up neatly. And as for up here, it looks kind of organized, not gonna lie. I mean, all the wires are in the back, but you can barely see them. What's cool about this desk is that it has like this Thing. It's usually meant for like a keyboard and mouse, but I decided to use it as like a dining table slash like a study table. That way I won't have to interfere with this gaming setup and I can just do strictly schoolwork and eating right here. And I also have this chair, which isn't the most comfortable, but I'm trying to use it as much as I can. I might put my blanket on top of it to make it a little bit more comfy, but you know, it's whatever. All right, and then last but not least, I have my bed where none of the magic happens. I got the blanket, I got the pillows, I got the mattress. That's pretty much it. And then over here, I have my miscellaneous things. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the tour. Hopefully you guys liked it. I don't know. All right, I guess that's it for this part. Um, transition. <laughs> so the first day of classes were all right. All of my classes were on Zoom except for one where I actually got to go in person. It was a bit different from what I expected. I was expecting one of those giant lecture halls, but it was still nice. One thing I learned is that college is very different from high school. I'm not forced to wake up at 6 a.m. anymore. All of my assignments are due weekly instead of daily, which is nice. And also I have a lot of free time. I got to make my own schedule and I only have like two classes a day, so it isn't too bad. With all this free time, you think I'd use it to study or make good quality videos, right? Nope. <laughs> I still procrastinate and don't get anything done, but hey, that's all part of the college experience. A few things I learned while at Temple University. One huge perk of going to a city college is that there's always something to do. One day, Rob, Shane, and I decided to go to Center City to buy skateboards because I've never been to Center City. And also, I got tired of walking everywhere and I was too broke to buy a boosted board, so I settled for a regular skateboard. We took an Uber, realized we went to the wrong address, walked to the nearest bus station, took a bus to Nocturnal Skate Shop, and finally got myself a skateboard. Later, we stopped by the Reading Terminal Market for a bit, took a subway back to campus, and that was pretty much it. Also, the food in Philadelphia is pretty pog. There are a lot of good restaurants in Philly. Campus Pizza, Fox and Sun Fancy Corn Dogs, Koji Grill. It doesn't compare to Permani Bros, but it was still good. Sadly, there's no Korean barbecue restaurants nearby, but what can you do? I usually don't eat at the Temple Dining Halls that much. I'm stocked up in ramen, so I usually don't have to leave my dorm room, but if I have to go out and eat, I honestly just prefer Koji Grill or grabbing something from Chick-fil-A. But real talk, the bulgogi cheesesteak sandwiches at Koji Grill. Oh my god! If you're ever in Philadelphia or near Temple University, you have to try it out. It's amazing. Some other things I learned, school popularity goes out the window in college. Every high school has some sort of popularity hierarchy, but in college it's non-existent. Half the people I met so far in college, I probably wouldn't have talked to in high school anyways. By the way, going off topic, people were saying that this year was especially bad for us because prom was cancelled, we didn't have a proper graduation, and we weren't able to experience college properly, but I like to look at the bright side. I probably wasn't going to go to prom anyways because no girls like me. I still talk to my high school friends, and I get to take classes in the comfort of my own bed, but yeah. Something else I did, I finally tried boba tea for the first time. Yeah, I know I'm Asian, I'm supposed to have it, but in my defense, Friends, I didn't really have that many Asian friends during high school. I was segregated from the other Asians in my grade because I was too dumb and I didn't talk to any girls. But yeah, I tried it and honestly, 
it's all right. It just tastes like cold tea with Orbeez in it. I probably just got the wrong flavor, but I didn't really get what the hype was all about. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go to Chinatown, so maybe that was why it didn't taste that great. On a side note, I think my college friends hate me now. Let's go, three weeks, new record. But yeah, I kept going on about how Chef is the greatest movie of all time, and I finally got all of them to watch it. They weren't really pleased with it and kept making fun of me for liking it, but what can you do? Yeah, I'm calling you guys out. What are you guys going to do about it? Nah, I'm joking. Since we are college students, we did play a lot of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We recorded a Smash video, but I didn't really have time to edit it, so here's a few clips from that. Why do you play, like, such cringe? <laughs> <laughs> you mean bro, cringe? Bro! bro. Charizard. Man. Yeah, dude, like, like, only cringe people will, like, wait on the ground and be like, well, I'm gonna calculate where they go. Dude, oh, Mimin's dog shit. Why not? Let's <laughs> say she was overpowered. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta keep her at mid range. Dude, she can't hit shit. I'm just the more useful player. <laughs> I don't think you're just straight up wasting it. Like, he has three stops and he's about me who doesn't even play this game. You can hear how hard Shane's button mashing. <laughs> Stop button mashing, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, button mashing, am I right? <laughs> yeah, fucking won it. Wait, 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 it needs to be Al. Fuck Al. <laughs> All my homies ate Al. I jumped. I, I jumped. <laughs> Wait, how is Chris still not dead? I don't know, but I know I fucking jumped. Does jumping not work in this game anymore? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if this was any other game, people would actually have a fucking problem with it, but it's Smash and everyone only wants to suck Nintendo's fat nards. They added yeah, like six DLC characters. Seven. Yeah, yeah, but they don't even know how to make the fucking jump mechanic work correctly. <laughs> Nintendo can't even make a fucking controller right. Fucking dog shit. <laughs> it's just fucking pissed. Yeah, cause they can't make fucking jumping work correctly. When I hit the jump button, I wanna fucking jump. So in short, college was a unique experience. Well, for the most part, it was enjoyable. There were some things that happened that were unfortunate. For starters, someone stole my AirPods, so I had to buy another pair. I got locked out of my room, so I had to spend the night on a bench. It wasn't too bad. I got to watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia on my laptop, so... Yeah, my roommate wasn't the best. He snored pretty loudly and he did some other stuff that I wasn't a huge fan of, but it could have been worse. But yeah, other than that, college was going pretty well. Classes were going all right. I made a lot of new friends. Everything was going fine until the Fire Nation attacked. No, like seriously, a fire alarm went off during the middle of the night. COVID cases on campus were increasing. All right, so so far Temple only has like 40 cases. We're not doing too bad, all right? Let's go. Oh, sorry about that. See, it's not that bad. Ah, shit. And things were only getting worse from there. The university decided to give everyone the option to get a full refund on dorm housing, which I took because I'm not an idiot. And yeah, that was the end of my time at Temple University. Kind of a bittersweet ending, but it was a good three weeks. There was a part of me that wanted to stay on campus, but at the same time, I did miss my family. Living on my own gave me a realization that I'm not ready to be responsible yet. I do miss campus, of course. I miss all the friends I made there, the police sirens that would go off every night, riding my skateboard at night with my roommates. I guess every good thing must come to an end. But yeah, that was my experience at Temple. Temple University. Hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. I don't know. This vlog was a mistake. I'm probably not going to do another vlog anytime soon. But overall, college was a great experience. And if you're thinking about going to Temple University, hopefully this helped you. Anyways, if you guys liked this video, consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.